So this video is going to be a little short because it's a simple bug fix video um, and we'll be fixing a couple of bugs that you guys have reported. The first bug is the fact that the enemy will keep spawning coins when you kill her. So as you can see here, if I kill her and I hit her again, a new coin will spawn every time she takes damage. So we will have to make sure that she only she can only spawn one coin. So to do this, we will have to do something with the take damage function. Because down here in the else statement here, we are actually spawning a coin, as you can see here. And we only want to do this if um, we only want to do this the first time the enemy takes damage or when the enemy actually dies. So to do this, we will simply have to add a boolean to the script. So up here in the top, we can make a private bool called uh, drop item. And we can set that to true from the get go. So it will always drop an item when we start the game. We will have to use this bool so that we can drop an item the first time we die. So in this if then you say if drop item is true, well, then we take the coin and ignore collision and move in here. And we set drop item to false. So if we play the game now, you'll notice that the enemy won't be able to spawn more than one coin when she dies. So you kill her and every time I hit her, it doesn't spawn a new one. But right now, when she dies and uh, she comes back to life, she is not able to spawn another coin even if she died from full health again. So we also need to make sure that we actually reset this drop item back to true. So down here in our death function, we will have to say drop item equals true. And if we save this, then she will be able to drop an item or a coin every time we kill her. Let's try to kill her one more time. There we go. Boom, she died. Let's let her re revive so we can kill her one more time. There go. Then she dies and a new coin, coin just spawned. So that was that little bug. Then next bug we will have to fix is the fact that she will keep chasing you in the rain state if you attack her from a range um, she will start chasing you and she will never stop chasing you i think see as you can see she keeps chasing me even though i'm not even inside even inside the side here and if i jump down here she will keep following me as you can see here so the reason that she keeps doing this is because that i attacked her with a ranged weapon and when i attack her with a ranged weapon she automatically gets me on target and usually she loses me as a target when I enter the site and exit the site. So now I'm not on target anymore. But that's not the case when I attack her with my knife here. I never entered her site. So I'm simply on a target all the time. Um, and, I, and there's no chance of me to exit her collision trigger. So we need to address this bug by going to the move function somewhere there. So this function up here. Uh, make sure that he will change direction and everything when she hits uh, the edge of a platform So basically we can just put an else if statement here saying current state is ranged state So this will trigger if we hit the edge because this up here this if statement checks if she is at the edge of the platform If she is well, then obviously she isn't I mean then it's going to try to trigger this one check if she's in patrol state and else it's going to check in range state. So this will trigger, this code in here will trigger when she hits the edge and she's in the range state. And the one thing we have to do is to say change state, new patrol state, I think. You can also change her into an idle state. Um, actually, let's try idle state instead. So she just stops, that looks more, that looks better, I think. So when we've done that, we can try to attack her. She attacks, uh, I attack her, I mean, and she runs to the edge. Then she should simply just start idling when she gets to the edge. Go. Nope, she didn't idle. Let's see what's wrong here. She actually made it <laughs> went even crazier. Um, and I guess she keeps going back to the range state because I never reset the target. So let's try to say target equals null 
as I stated myself just before, the problem was the fact that she never lost me as a target here. So let's try this. Attack her. And there we go. So now she's in idle state and she's not following me around me anymore as you can see here. And now she saw me. And it also makes it more realistic that fact that she's just standing here and waiting for me to jump up after I attack her. So that was two bugs that has been fixed. If you find more bugs, then please report them so that I can make more videos and fix them. And also, as usual, uh, if you have some ideas for the game, simply post a comment with it and I'll see what I can do about it so that I can uh, implement these things um, in, the, in the game. Uh, also, I will be adding a video soon with uh, moving platforms because that's a um, that's a request from you guys um, and I think I'll be adding moving platforms where they just move around freely uh, and I'll be adding some kind of button you can push to start the platform from moving for example this platform here can push a button down here maybe and then the platform goes down so I can jump onto it and, and get elevated up so thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page and follow me on twitter to stay updated also remember that in scope studios is a community found page so all your support is very important to me lots of you guys are already supporting me so that's uh, very awesome and um, you can support me in two ways you can get one of my projects by clicking the link in the bottom of the screen or you can get all my projects on patreon by clicking the link in the top of the screen also you can get some other perks but you can see um, about that on the patreon page so thanks for watching